Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to draw a histogram in Excel. I will use the same data as an example. Here is a sample data of 20 student final exam scores. First, sort the data from smallest to the largest. So data, so here is the sorting process. And you will see the minimum is 47 and the maximum is 94. So let's design the gap for each bar. Excel doesn't know what is your design. You can design, let's see, it is Bing. H5 or H10 or H20 or each 100 or 1000 as a common gap for the bin. You only need to tell Excel the bin cutoff. So for example, 47, it should be 40 to 50. So the cutoff is 50. I will design each 10 as a gap. So the next cutoff is 60 and 70, 80, 90 and 100. That will be enough because the maximum is 94. Then we click data and choose data analysis. Here is the tool window and then to find out histogram here and click OK. First is the input range. I choose the title included from the first to the bottom. Second is the bin range. You can also design each five as a gap yourself. So select bin and included the title. So because I include the title, so I need to click here neighbors. If you do not include the title, do not need to click this one. Next, output range. Click here and click here. You can put anywhere empty. Let's put here for the bin and the bars. Next, click the cumulative percentage and chart output and click OK. You will have the percentage and also the histogram. So let me make it a little bigger. Here is the histogram. As we mentioned in the lecture notes, usually the histogram we do not have gap. So let's make no gap first. Click one bar and then you will have this window, the format data point. And click this sign bars. So here the gap width to make as zero. So we have no gap right now. And also you can make some designing of your picture, like colors and different design. So if you want to change the color, you can double click one bar and format and shape fill. You can change the color and you can do one by one for each bar. You can also do some designing of your bars. So that's all for the histogram part.